Hello, everyone, and welcome to Reinventing the Spiel, where we are continuing our quest to make Guernsey great again through the means of useless and bizarre inventions, which may just turn the tides on this tiny island shores, but probably not. And with me today, as usual, I have Florence Mikingale, Michael Sullivan, Ooh. and Pube Bonic Plague, Ashley <laughs> Ellis. <laughs> Dick, I mean brains. <laughs> <laughs> and I am your host, the friendly neighborhood beat doctor, Jack McGuy. Why are you friendly? Um, I don't know really. I'm just going with a Spider Man vibe. Oh, okay. The beat doctors always freak me out. They are creepy as hell. But very interesting because I used to store like smelling herbs in that beak they have, like the Tudor doctors. I know what you mean now. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. So then they can't smell the the rocking flesh and stuff. So I mean, it's it's clever, but they just look absolutely terrifying. Yeah. What did you say the reason was? So they put like um like smelling like plants like uh, rosemary and thyme and stuff in their beak. So when they're dealing with rotting bodies, they can only smell the rosemary and thyme rather than the. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder how effective that was. Right. That's it. We're bringing that invention to Guernsey. Episode <laughs> done. Yeah, well, just um, every time someone farts, you just have one of them ready. <laughs> Ooh, do, you want, do you want to hear my Halloween fact? Go on. Oh, God. Okay, do you know that every time that you yawn, a ghost slips its dick in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and that is great to get us into. Welcome to the Halloween episode of uh, Reinventing the Spiel. But I suppose today we're more like uninventing the spiel because we're taking a trip back in time to look at medieval treatments. Yay. We like the medieval stuff. Yeah. Um, and today we are going to play a game that I like to call Trick or Treatment. Oh, nice play Ooh. of words there. Nice. He's trying this week. And, <laughs> and what's going to happen is I'm going to give you four medieval treatments, and one of which is a trick, and you need to decide which treatment was not a proper medieval treatment. Okay. <laughs> now, I have to say, I found it very hard to look these up without urging, because some of them are proper awful like proper make your skin crawl bad um and to say that anyone at any point in time thought this was a good idea is just mental but there you go well they had no idea back in the day did they like it was yeah that's time. medieval times for you yeah that's what i mean <laughs> i mean they were just yawning willy-nilly <laughs> <laughs> so much so much ectoplasm <laughs> you said willy <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway so um, as the neighborhood beak doctor, I'm going to be taking you through some remedies that a beak doctor would have performed. And at the end, you can decide uh, whether they are real or not. And if you are playing as a listener, please remember to stop at the end before they guess and you can decide for yourself. <laughs> so our first treatment or trick uh, is called yeah. needling, needling. What do you think needling might be? What, what, what's it called? What's it called? Well, you stick a load of pins in your body in that? Acupuncture. Acupuncture. Uh, maybe it's something similar to that. Maybe it's to drain like a massive yeah. spot or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, no, no, no. Seriously. Like, you know, they had <laughs> like think... warts and shit back in them days, didn't they? So I reckon it could be to like puncture the wart and, <gasps> and drain out all that pus and shit inside. No, you see, I think it's because Jack said that you were going to be grim. I think needling That's was a way. Grim. It, it, was pretty grim. Say. That's pretty dreadful. <laughs> Wait, hold on to your beers, guys. No, um, I think it might be something to do with like if if you're like sexually inept or something, they might like poke needles into the balls to try and like Ugh. you know encourage the sperm or something. Mm. Because back then, anything goes. Anything goes. You guys make good medieval doctors, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just stab people. 
Well, that's all they did. They just made shit up, didn't they? <laughs> didn't know what they were doing. Right. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's neither of those. Um, so needling is cataract surgery. So cataract is what goes in front of your eye, which makes you pass the line. And it involves a thick, flat needle, which a doctor would push directly into the edge of a person's cornea. Uh. No anesthesia, except for maybe a cup of bitter red wine. The idea behind this technique was to push the opaque lens back into the lowest part of the eye, which would result in a clear pupil. Uh. The ailing patient was typically left with an unfocused eye, sort of like uh, an unfocused camera lens. The amount of vision would only allow the person to read huge letters found in modern eye tests, for example. Not enough to read the Bible, but enough to plow a field. Like, I prefer to be stabbed in the balls than shit with the eyes. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's anything to do with eyes, I, I can't stand it. I don't know what it is, like poking things in your eyes and that. It's eyes and fingernails as well. But sometimes, sometimes it would go wrong and the eyes would just rupture. <laughs> <laughs> Rupture my ball instead, please. <laughs> just stop. Just touch my balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'd rather be blind. Or at yeah, least, no, you know, have something floating in front of my eye. Just, why? Yeah. No. I mean, if it's going to blow your vision anyway, it's not really helping you, is it? Well, you can plough a field. Come on. True. But can you still plough a field with cataract? <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. How would you miss a field? Just like like hoeing away, and then you're you're hoeing your wife. Just like oh, oh I didn't see you. <laughs> How can you hoe a wife? Seller on the black market, yo. Yes. Um, but I suppose everything was to do with reading the Bible, so maybe they would force you. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Are they picked? What? Of di diagrams and stuff. You know, they used to, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But they're like the medieval sketches. So there's just like literally yeah. blood just spurting out in fountains everywhere. So they're quite comical. But then when you read it and actually see what they were doing to people, not nice at all. Ugh. Anyway, um, moving on to our second treatment fecal spreading. <laughs> <laughs> just spreading the nares, yo. That's what I was thinking. Just spread an ass. <laughs> Just spread an ass. <laughs> you cured. <laughs> yeah. Give yourself a gaping asshole. <laughs> well, I guess you've got to ask you a question. What, what's the ailment? Because this is the treatment. Constipation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're constipated. You can't shit here. I'm going to spread shit all over you. Hopefully gonna, this helps. I'm going to loosen that ass. Oh, yeah. Fecal spread. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm guessing it's some sort of like it'll be beauty treatment because they used to like drink piss back then as well. <laughs> Just for beauty. Yeah. Oh, your breath, your breath is terrible. Drink this piss. <laughs> hey, that's that's how they did it. That's how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you've been needling down here in your balls, yeah. <laughs> here, let's rub some shit in that. That'll ease it off. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think it's some sort of like beauty product. Like a, like a face mask, like a fecal face mask. Yeah, because, you know, manure's there for, like, fertilising. It might fertilise your face. <laughs> face. <laughs> um, Ash, I think, Ash, you fecal spread nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fecal spreading right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with the other beauty treatment of the gaping asshole and stick to that one please wait is it making your ass more gaping or is it <laughs> more gaping <laughs> more gaping <laughs> if it's not gaping enough right now <laughs> anyway so neither of you are correct oh, that's a shame oh what um and it was a treatment for hemorrhoids i mean ash isn't far off no, I suppose. Yeah, but Ash is encouraging the hemorrhoid. Think, right? <laughs> yeah, so, like, he got part of it, right? Well, hem hemorrhoids uh, actually had a saint. Um, and the they weren't actually called hemorrhoids back then. They were called Saint, and I might be saying this wrong, Fiacre's Curse, um, which is strange because he was the patron saint of hemorrhoid sufferers. That's a, that's, that's a good one to be associated with, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a terrible spin-off of the Bible. It's kind of like 
Dragon Ball Z when it spun off and became Dragon Ball GX or whatever it's called, and it's just terrible. GT, Jesus Christ. Come on, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the anger in your voice, Ash, just <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't anger, it was disappointment. <laughs> oh, he just pulled it on you. This poor patron is, you know, sticking up for people with hemorrhoids, and then they called it a curse, the St. Fiat Craze curse, which is just dickish. Anyway, it is said that this saint was wandering in his garden one day and he sat in a pile of manure, which cured his hemorrhoids. Doctors began finding animal feces wherever they could and instructed patients to rub them on their own fissures. Um, once people caught wind of this, uh, see what they did there. Hey. Um, the cure, they found that people were rubbing their feces they found on the street or any areas that they could find feces which obviously led to more problems. So, yeah, essentially, they were putting the poo back where it came from. So, does it matter which animal it was? I, it, well, it says manure, so I'm supposing oh, okay. it's probably... Horse. Horse. But I think people kind of thought, I don't have to go to the doctor, I can just do it with anything I find, probably including their own. Yummy. People are idiots. Now, there was, a, there was a second way of curing this, which was heating up a sword to red-hot temperatures and just sticking it right up there to burn yes. it. Yes. <laughs> now, that's, that's the shit right there. <laughs> that's more like oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which most people would die from. Uh, I can't see how. <laughs> that's a cure and a half, isn't it? <laughs> you know, they just didn't want hemorrhoids, okay? Hemorrhoids. <laughs> rather die. <laughs> Just stab me up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I hear if you yawn with your ass. Um... <laughs> <laughs> if you get shafted by a hot sword. <laughs> by a hot poker. <laughs> um, so that was fecal spreading. Okay, this is probably the next one is probably the most gruesome of all of them. And this is called trepanning 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 yeah it doesn't have any sort of unless it's like oh, an old word but it has no meaning or doesn't link with what they did so don't try and unpick that right so you're saying this is this one's grim yeah this is yeah i'll give you a hint it's to do with the head the head oh um, is this sort of like the um you had those Devices that you start like, screw into the head, and it'll be a, ah. like, um, oh god, it's in that film Apostle. Can't remember what it is. Um, lobotomize. That's it. Um, it's like old school lobotomies, just going through the skull though, instead of yeah. up the nose. It's in the same department as that. I don't think it's. Oh, I don't think it's as well. No, it is pretty brutal. But that is, they're not trying to lobotomize anyone. I, I, it could be the same thing. It could be the same thing. But I don't think it's that. Is it so uh, to relieve pressure in the brain or something? They screw into the skull to relieve pressure? Um, I think that is one of the... Yeah, yeah, that's one of the ailments they try and treat with this. So it is mm -hmm. uh, it involves the drilling or boring of a hole. So they cut out a hole oh. in the human skull and this would expose the exterior of the human brain. Yeah. Doctors used this practice in the Middle Ages to treat illnesses like epilepsy, migraines. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike, you get migraines all the time. I do, yeah. Fuck it. I'll go, go get a corkscrew. Get the drill. <laughs> um, <laughs> and mental disorders. Um, it included depression. Now, to be fair, if people were sticking needles in my eye and asking me to stick shit up my ass, I probably would be really <laughs> depressed, which would then lead into them drilling holes in my head. It, it just. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they were asking you to stick shit up your ass. They were just asking you to spread it. It's like, you there, stick this up your ass now. Yeah, I was going to say, Ash, how, how bad is your life that you're seeing? <laughs> yeah, well, it's good. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, writing, I'm, I'm writing these down right now. <laughs> I'm doing my research. <laughs> Depression. <Okay. laughs> um, but unfortunately, for the people who took on this treatment, the hole to their head commonly expo exposed their brain to airborne germs. Who would have thought walking around with a hole in your head would be bad for you? And it would often prove, often, not always, often prove fatal to patients. Well, yeah, you'd get things like gangrene, wouldn't you? 
yeah you get just you know just anything it starts raining you've got raindrops in your brain you know you, you trip over someone flicks a coin into your brain <laughs> they do, that? <laughs> do they become like a, a, a game in the pub and stuff it's yeah like, hey, hey. <laughs> all the all, all the kids do it to the old man with the massive hole in his head <laughs> old man a guy's falling asleep let's throw yeah. some coins down there go hey that guy's got three holes <laughs> the kid's like oh i missed i feel so depressed get him <laughs> <laughs> Starting to cut open your head, then. And all their treatments are worse than the ailments. I know. Imagine, you, you could go back, Mike. If you could get time machine, you're a medieval doctor. You'd make some bare dollar. I, I'd take some proofing with me and, like, trick people the fuck <laughs> <Just> up. <some. laughs> Be like, whoa, what? Yeah, and then I'd have, like, the lords of the land saying, please give me this wonder drug. They'd be like, these holes in my head are just not working. <laughs> Yeah, it takes some anti-inflammatory, that'll sort you out. What happens if you run out of tablets then, Mike? Well, then I disappear. I'll come back to the future, don't I? No, that's the thing. You can't come back. Oh, then I make fake tablets like these people do. And just say, hey, look, I've got testimony from the King of England. His headache disappeared. <laughs> you could wear a hat over those holes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you travel back to that time just to get rich in that era? What's the point in that? That makes no I sense. I could own a castle. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Having a castle would be fucking awesome. Plaguey castle. Yeah, who cares about the plague? I've got a castle. Okay, this this leads us to our our final one. And this one is called Wandering Womb. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Better be careful in this one. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's, of no. course, Jack, the sexist of all of us, would choose <laughs> this one. <laughs> it was a well-known treatment. Yeah, yeah, we believe you. I didn't invent the treatment. <laughs> well, you might have. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actually, he could have. <laughs> <laughs> now, if he has, he this has could be the trick. His <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Yeah, I'm hiding in plain sight with this one. Right. <laughs> The wandering womb. Is it something you can have sex with? Oh my god. How is that going to fix your ailment? <laughs> Horniness, yeah. AKA, <laughs> okay, hey, my dirty fist. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, actually, thinking on the sex side of things, is it a woman that would be like almost a surrogate mother? Because, you know, back then, they always used to say that the women were the ones that couldn't have children. It was nothing to do with sexual ineptitude of the man. Oh, so there'll be a wandering womb that you want round, and you're like, I want a son. Let me pump one in you. Oh. Pop me out, a boy. Done. That's a good idea. That's like, um, not a good idea for now, obviously, but that's a well, well thought out <laughs> to this problem. No, it's not. Ash, any thoughts? Um, could it be... Yeah, like Mike said, if it's a woman that can't have a baby, maybe they stuff stuff up the up the womb, like uh, uh, crustaceans and stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> so you physically give her crabs? Uh, get crabs, yeah. <laughs> you do it. You do it for the lols, you know. You do it for the lols. Stick it. My wife can't give me kids anyway. Fuck it, let's stuff her with a crab. <laughs> Have a lobster for luck. Yeah, will the lobster work? I don't know. <laughs> Put some shrimp up there too. Yeah, it's a crevette. Screw it, why not some crayfish? No, okay. Um, you know it might make sense. I'm guessing he's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, did you know that medieval people, definitely men, definitely not women saw this, thought that the, the uterus or the womb was actually an animal separate from the woman that could wander around the woman's body inside of her. <laughs> of course Jack would think that. Come on. Now, the, now obviously, the danger and the cause for concern for the doctors is, is if it wandered in the wrong direction, it could cause things like if it wandered into the throat, choking or coughing or loss of voice. Or if it went into the rib cage, it would cause chest pains or shortness of breath which is obviously a massive concern for these women. 
So if there was anything wrong with women back in the Dark Ages, it was because their womb was wandering around their body. (laughs) Oh, man up, it's just your womb. (laughs) And the reason the womb would wander, and again, I'm quoting this, I'm not making this up, or am I? Um, It's like an animal hungry for semen. And that's why I've moved around the body. Because who knows, it could be semen in the ribcage. Uh, that would be like really nice. Well, if she swallows. Yeah. Well, if she's yawned. <laughs> <laughs> um, so treatments would include fumigation of the vagina, which I don't know what that is. I it didn't smoke really. out the badge. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Just people with big cigars just <laughs> smoke, blow it, blow, blow them rings. <laughs> Uh, bitter potions or balms, but there was one real cure, and this is the best cure of them all. Crabs. The cure was marriage, intercourse, and pregnancy. Oh god! So I can I, I can imagine these doctors wandering around going, "You have the wandering womb. I have the treatment right here." <laughs> <laughs> Just lifts his cloak up, and his penis has got a little eek mask on as well. <laughs> oh man step into my office <laughs> step into my office <laughs> um, but that is terrible that is such a man thing to come up with but that's it that's what they believed and I guess they got away with it give that doctor a high five <laughs> jeez so <laughs> going over the ones that you have to choose from and Remembering three of these are real and one is a trick. Wait, are we bringing one of these to Guernsey now as well? It's like <laughs> modern medication. <laughs> just for Halloween. This is uninventing the spiel. So we're kind of, yeah, just for Halloween. No, not for Halloween. None of these just things. For one night only. Please don't drill hot holes. <laughs> Please don't rub poo up your bum. Um, so <laughs> we've had needling, the cataract surgery of the gods. Uh, trepanning, <laughs> the the pool of the Middle Ages, uh, fecal spreading, and then finally the wandering womb. I, I I think I think I know which one is okay. Jack's. If you are listening, you want to guess. Obviously, pause it now um, and have a think for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just going to tell you now. This isn't like a big trick where all of them are real. There is an actual fake one. Okay. All right, okay. How about this? Jack counts in. After three, we both say which one we think is fake. Three, two, one. Wondering, wondering womb. womb. No, I don't think it's wandering womb. I think it's fecal spreading. Ashley, you are completely incorrect. It is Wrong. fecal spreading. <laughs> oh! Yeah! The actual story is that Saint Fiacre was gardening. This is all true. And he sat on a rock. And they used to um, ask you if you had hemorrhoids to sit on a, with no trousers on, obviously, on a rock. So you'd shove a stone up your ass instead of shit. That makes more sense. That that imagine sense. that with hemorrhoids. <laughs> Terrible. But wandering womb was a real uh, oh. ailment they believed existed. And that would be something they prescribed. I just can't believe that they think that the womb would wander around the whole body. I can. They, they were weird back then. Yeah, you're right. They believed some trippy shit. They'd probably say it's the devil or some shit, wouldn't they? Yeah. The devil take your soul. They thought it was like a creature. Like, that must freak out women anyway. <laughs> How scary is that? <laughs> your fucking womb yeah, wandering around your oh, body. Oh, I've got a cough today. Your womb's in your throat. Like, that is terrifying. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Just, yeah. But you're right. Fugal spreading is wrong. So if you've got hemorrhoids at home, please do not go to a horse and spread his poo on your bum. Please don't do any of these, actually. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just drill into your head if you've got a migraine. It'll be fine. They cut holes. Like, we're talking big holes. Yeah, I know exactly which one you mean because I've, I've seen sort of like films where they do it and I'm like, oh, it's not good. I've seen films. I've seen movies. They'd be snuff movies, but. So, um, thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, we've made your Halloween a little bit creepy and disgusting. Um, does either of you want to do like an evil laugh? I'll put lightning and thunder behind it.
Oh, jeez. Quickly, he's got a cough. His <laughs> room. <laughs> <laughs> My womb. Reinventing the spiel.